everybody, today is bathroom day and I just wanted to take a quick moment to talk to you about my bathroom routine and to show you some of the products that I use in my bathroom to keep it clean. So as you can probably hear already, my shower is going, I just have to turn it on really hot just to kind of get it steamy in there and kind of soften some of the grime that's built up. And so in a moment here, I will turn that off and I'm actually going to spray it with my descaler. And this descaler is going to really work hard to help work at that grime that is building up throughout the week in my shower. We have really hard water and so if I don't keep up on it, I just start to get some yellowing depositing in there and um, I just keep it at bay with this. This has also helped me help get rid of that because I had a lot of buildup initially when I first um, started tackling my bathroom with Norwex and so this helped me get it off and it's also now serving to help me keep it at bay so I don't have to deal with that anymore. So I'm going to go turn my shower off really quick so you can kind of hear it. And I'm going to go ahead and spray this in here really quick and then speak to you about the Bathroom sink area. I'm spraying this and all over the walls really quick. I'll bring it over here later so you can see it. But it's really grimy. I've got hair in here still. I'll push that and throw it. And it's actually been a couple weeks since I've cleaned it. It's been really busy for us right now. So I'm going to spray it really good and let that just kind of do its magic. So I'm going to set this aside. The other part that I've added to my bathroom routine is cleaning my ring. And so, um, stir this up a little bit more. My finger has started to, I get like just um, dry and kind of irritated around my ring area on my finger. And so I've started cleaning it in just a solution of water. I'm just gonna drop that in there and let that kind of sit too. With some water and a little bit of my powder laundry detergent just to kind of give it a good weekly clean, just to help my finger out so it's not getting so irritated because it's either that or it's not wearing it. And I really want to wear my ring. So I do this weekly. So there's that. And then while I'm letting that descaler work on the walls and on the floor of my bathtub and shower area, I go ahead and start tackling my window. And I use my Enviro cloth and my window cloth. These two are the perfect partners. If you're not sure which cloth is what, if you're new and learning, the tags on these cloths are very helpful to help you make sure that you're using the correct ones. So this is an Enviro cloth that says it right, right there. And also on these cloths, it'll tell you if it has back lock or not. And this one does. And that is one of my favorite things about Norris because it, the back lock is that self purifying technology embedded into these microfibers that's responsible for um, removing 99% of the bacteria from your surfaces that you're cleaning and then also um, self purifying the cloth so that way when you're done and after you rinse it out you can hang it to dry by these tags here and it's going to self purify as it dries so that way when you want to use it again it's ready and clean and um, ready to clean the next um, cleaning task that you have for it. So that's really awesome because I, it saves me laundry. I don't have to wash these every single time after I use it. So my mirror, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks. It's been really busy. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm getting it wet because my mirror is, is pretty nasty. So I'm just going to get that wet. I'm going to wring it out. I'm actually going to do this side with microfiber getting using the cold water actually gets those fibers nice and tight and ready to clean and then when I'm going to rinse it out later I'm gonna use warm water because that's gonna open it up and help relax those fibers and it's gonna release that drying better so have my wet enviro cloth I go ahead and wipe down the entire area of my mirror and if you have not seen the butter demo yet, I highly recommend it because 
it takes it all off you guys it takes off like if I intentionally go ahead and put butter on the mirror it will take that off I put Vaseline on the mirror I put lotion on the mirror not because those things are typically on my mirror but just because I really like to watch the mirror cloth do its magic and it is very magical so then after I wipe off my mirror with my Enviro cloth and water, I'm gonna leave my window cloth here dry. And I'm going to clean up the water and it's going to have a streak-free, non-chemical residue finish. It's gonna be completely clean. And it's so easy. One of my favorite things about this process is it's, these cloths are reusable so I'm not, having to purchase paper towel to clean my mirrors all the time. They are saving me from putting stuff into the landfills. It works quicker and easier than using paper towels because I always get that paper towel dust. And my son, who is three, loves to help and I don't have to worry about him spraying any chemicals into his eyes. So there is my clean mirror. After I'm finished cleaning my mirror, I like to actually use this guy. This is an Enviro Scrubby, and this as well, Enviro Scrub, so I call it Scrubby, also has back lock in it. And on the other side, it says Enviro Scrub. And so this side is like an Enviro cloth, and this side has some um, kind of some rough texture on here, so that way it's going to help. Um, tackle that grime a little bit better. And I use that to wipe down my bathroom sink area. I'll use it in the shower next. And then I go at my toilet area with this. And so I like to use, dedicate these towards the nasties in my bathroom. So again, with cold water, I'm gonna get this wet. I also have my utility brush here. And I'm gonna be a little closer to kind of use this just around these grooves and that just pulls and moves all that grime around so I can easily get that cut with my cloth. I feel, I'm wondering if you need this, I highly recommend it because it just really has such good scrubby power. I also like to use this with like cleaning paste in my grill area. So just kind of put this in the cleaning paste and then scrub this in the grill, wipe it away with the Enviro cloth and it gets it so clean. Um, cleaning paste, otherwise um, the bright and white laundry and home booster, if you have the white tile, works um, a little bit better for the white, but either way, this and one of those other two um, cleaning agents is gonna be really powerful on grout. You have that. So, gotta give it a quick, quick scrub. And then I just kind of wipe everything away. And you can follow this up with the window cloth just to kind of dry it. Um, you don't have to, but it will finish it up really nice for you. Here's my scrubby side in here too. And you may choose to use a window cloth on your countertops. You may not. I definitely choose to use it on my stainless steel areas because I like them to be shiny and streak free. So I'm just going to polish this up really quick. They're not all purple, but purple is a common window cloth color. So I just think of pee for polish, pee for purple, pee for polish. So this is good for mirrors, any stainless steel windows if you have um, really shiny countertops this is also kind of a nice way to polish those so there you go nice and clean and then i'm gonna go ahead and tackle my shower area now that that descaler has done some work i don't know if i can reach all the way over but here is my shower area. I got some descaler working on my faucet there. Had it all around the wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my scrubby side here and just kind of go at this really nasty stuff. So 
just takes it right off. My other stuff, it just stays caked on. It doesn't get it clean as well what I was using before. So this is really nice. I am new, sorry if this is all over the place, to hard water life. And so I'm not going to come back with my utility brush here and clean that up a little bit better because that's, that's it need. Just keep going. So I'll finish this up and then when I'm done with my Enviro scrub, I will go ahead and just run my water again and rinse that all down the drain and then it'll be perfectly clean. So there's that. And then I move on to the icky toilet. And so I'll kind of use a combination of the Enviro scrub, um, Enviro cloth side and then the scrubby side as well, depending on what I'm feeling the situation calls for. So just kind of like all around this utility brush. You can even dip it in your water there. Clean all around the grooves just to get all of that. Toilets are very gross. And can't just clean them once and be done. And clean this area up. Clean around the sides. And I'll go all the way around with this Enviro Scrubby. And make sure I get all those screws. And then once I finish going all the way around my toilet, I have my toilet bowl brush. And this is really fun. This is this is newer. Um, I'm gonna hands a little wet. This top part here actually is a screw and it opens up and so there's a little reservoir where I can put my bathroom cleaner. And so I just fill this up and here's the bathroom cleaner here. So just fill that up. And then there's actually a little lever right here that I'm gonna just push down once I put this into my toilet and that's going to extract a little bit, teeny tiny amount of that cleaner. You don't need a lot, you only need to do one push and then it can scrub away inside of my toilet bowl that way. And this has been really helpful because my last toilet bowl cleaner was leaving residue and it was so obvious with the one that I was using because it was leaving a purple ring inside of my toilet. This does not leave any residue, residue at all. I'm cleaning it completely with all natural products. Just do a quick scrub in there. And then when I'm all done, this actually has backlog inside of it as well. And so this is going to self purify after I stick it in here. It makes me so happy because toilets are gross. And I don't, I don't feel like cleaning that after a few weeks. It's going to clean itself. So there's that. Um, so that kind of takes care of our, my, the most part of my bathroom routine. I also will come through here with my um, mop pad, my mop system just to clean the floors. There is a tile mop pad that's really nice for getting into those grooves. And so that's the one that I use in my bathroom just because it cleans a little bit better. And then I'm also due for cleaning my grout. So I'm going to use probably later today my utility brush again just with some either um, bright and light home and um, home blister cleaner or some cleaning paste and clean out the grill, especially around that toilet area. So that's my bathroom routine. And then the finale is my ring is clean and that just helps keep the irritation off my hands at bay just because there's, there's some stuff out there. I, I work outside of the home and they do not use Normax. And this just kind of helps keep my irritation at bay because it collects in my ring throughout the week, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about cleaning your bathroom, let me help. Just shoot me a message so that way I know what you're looking for and I'll be happy to help you out. So have a great day. Thank you, everyone.